What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at The Mandalorian. He is the tier one of this season. He is a Star Wars series outfit. He is part of the Mandalorian set. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So The Mandalorian, where do I start? I was actually shocked that The Mandalorian actually is the tier one style for this season, but it does have those upgradable features that I just missed about Fortnite so much. The Mandalorian actually does take inspiration from the Mandalorian series that you do get in Disney Plus. The skin itself does take very good features from that show and it just makes him in Fortnite perfectly. So how do I feel about the skin? The skin itself is actually honest to his origin. He does have no armor when you do have it and you do level up and you do unlock new features and armor plates that you do put on the skin. I know it's a little bit of a, just me complaining, but the only thing I don't like is the cape. If you did notice, whenever you are selecting a backlink on the Mandalorian, other capes you really can't put on the skin, and that's just such a bummer. I would've wished if you did equip the cape or even a backlink, the cape would go away, similar to how Battlehound used to be, but sadly enough, that is not the case. The skin itself still looks very good, and the, there are some backlinks out there that actually looks decent with the cape clipping through the bottom. So what's my final rating for the Mandalorian? I'm gonna have to give The Mandalorian a 9 out of 10. The skin itself for what it is actually does stay loyal to his series counterpart. I do love the skin even though he does have the cape at all time. I mean it's just understandable since he is The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian actually does fit very well with this season just cause he does always wield the gun and Fortnite is a shooting game so it makes sense for him to be in the game. So without further ado guys, let's get this combo started. For the first combination with The Mandalorian, I am pairing him up with the Power Pack. Now the power pack itself is actually becoming one of my favorite backlinks out there. Even though it is very simple, it does match perfectly with the helmet he does have on. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Mark 85 Energy Blade. Now the Mark 85 Energy Blade actually fits very well because the Mandalorian usually does have gadgets on him. Even though it is red, it still looks very good. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Avengers Quinjet. The Avengers Quinjet is almost similar to that of the ship he does run. He is very knowledgeable on spaceships, so having this as a glider just makes sense. Then for the Contra, we're gonna be going with the Night Flight. Now the Night Flight is just an extra cape I did add him just cause it's funny and he can't use capes. So having this as a Contra, is just a meme for me. And for the wrap, we're gonna be going with the Carbon and Gold. The Mandalorian is known for his armor. So having carbon metal on his weapon wrap actually just made perfect sense. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with the Mandalorian, I am pairing it up with the Wolfpack. Now the Wolfpack actually fits very good on his back. It does look like something he actually would use and it could actually beat the Dark Saber that is so famous with the Mandalorian core. So it matches really good. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Sword of the Daywalker. The Sword of the Daywalker does have that single sword that just complements the back thing itself. It does look very cool and it looks amazing with the Mandalorian holding it. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Crossfire. The Crossfire Glider does have that leather texture to it. It does have a Chapter 1 Glider design, but that leather actually complements very good with the brown of the outfit. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Sip Ribbons. What I really like about the Sip Ribbons, it does look like light of black and white is actually leaving the body, and it just looks amazing. And to complement all that brown, we're going to be going with the Cosine Falcon for the wrap. The Cosine Falcon does have that brownish color scheme with a lighter black that just complements Mandalorian. So let's check out this combo. For our next combination with the Mandalorian, I am going to be pairing them up with the Corrupted Sizzling with the Zero Corruption Edda Stout. Now the reason why I'm using this backlink because it does look like the backlink itself is made of all metal. 
it could easily be Beskar, which is what Mandalorians actually do hunt and what their armor is made of. So it made perfect sense to actually equip it with him. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Silver Surfer Pickaxe. Now, similar to the back pain itself, it could be Beskar, so that is what the Mandalorians actually do hunt for, so they could get better armor. And then this harvesting tool just matched that really well. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Ohm. The Ohm glider is actually in the same boat as the back pain and harvesting tool. It could easily be Beskar, and it just looks amazing whenever he is using it. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. The Spectral Essence does have that grayish color scheme with white, so it matches really good with the best car armor he does have. And then the back of the wrap, we're going to be going with the Industrious. The Industrious wrap does match really good with the armor he does have, and that is the sole reason why I'm using it. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with the Mandalorian, I am pairing him up with the Grande Pack. What I really love about this combination is that the Grande Pack itself does have a similar color scheme to that of the outfit itself. It also has that like Wild West theme to it. And if you guys know the Mandalorian, he is like a space adventure Wild Wild West series. So it actually makes perfect sense to combine them both. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Sawtooth. What I really like about the Sawtooth, it does have that rusted look. And if you guys know the Mandalorian, they are scavengers. So having this as a harvesting tool just fits very good with this theme. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Custom Flyer. The Custom Flyer itself does have that brown color scheme that is similar to that of the armor he does have right now. And it just matches really well. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Sap Light. The Sap Light is basically just fireflies leaving your body. It could also be energy, so it looks very good combined with the Mandalorian. And for the Rat, we're going to be going with the Mayhem. What I really love about the Mayhem is it does have that scavenger vibe again that is similar to that of the harvesting tool and it just matches very good. So let's check out this combo. For the last combination with the Mandalorian, I am pairing him up with the Hollow Horn. Now, the reason why I'm pairing it up with the Hollow Horn is because it does have that like burned cape on it that just complements the cape he is wearing. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Scorcher. The Scorcher harvesting tool matches really good with the backlink. It does have flames and it just matches like something the Mandalorian would actually have in his spaceship. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Shadow Stalker. The Shadow Stalker glider does look like uh, something the Mandalorian would be actually using to travel into space. And it's just very aggressive and brutal. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Exhaust. The Exhaust is basically two Exhaust edges of both hands and it looks very cool. And for the Rat, we're going to be going with the Driftwood. What I really like about the Driftwood, it does have that brown color scheme that complements the skin itself. It does have a little bit of gold, but it still looks very cool. So let's check out this combo. Now for the honorable mentions with the Mandalorian, you could pair him up with anything that does have a brown shading color scheme, anything metallic or anything that does have a weapon, it's actually gonna look perfect with the Mandalorian. Those are the 5 combinations I did find for the Mandalorian. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos or fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is ENIGMAKID, all caps, two Ds, all together. 
Each time you guys use my code near the item shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and really help this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.